Ryan Sherry here with Dex3. In this new version of Dex3, we've implemented the SoundCloud Go Plus subscription that allows our users in-app access to 200 plus million songs from popular artists, premium content, all the way down to up and coming producers. If you have a SoundCloud Go Plus account, you can log in directly through Dex3, or you can create a, an account through the software. It'll actually kick you into a 30-day free trial first before your build. In the United States, it's only $9.99 a month, which is an awesome price for a massive catalog. Really can supersize your sets with SoundCloud Go Plus and Dex3. So today I wanna to demonstrate how to use the SoundCloud Go Plus website or SoundCloud's website to create playlists that automatically synchronize with Dex3. So they automatically populate the browser after you create them on the website. You can also, which is really cool, like any playlist on the website. You can just bang the like button and that will automatically populate Dex3. So if you've got other DJs you follow uh, or artists or, or playlist creators on the platform, you can go up there bang the like button, fire up Dex3, and the playlist will be there ready to go. And you can refresh them on the fly, which I'll demonstrate here for you in a second. So first, you gotta go to the SoundCloud website. Now you can search the site, you can browse, they got some cool uh, music discovery tools up there. Once you've located a track you want to add to a playlist, either an existing playlist you created, or if you wanna create a brand new playlist starting with that track, this is what you gotta do. You find the track, you mouse over it, you see the little ellipsis button here, the three dot button, click it, and you'll see an option to add to playlist. If I click this, it's gonna pop up a box. It's gonna show me all my existing playlists, but if I wanna create a new one, now if you wanna add it to an existing playlist, all you have to do is click add to playlist. If you wanna create a new playlist starting with that track, just click, click the create a playlist button, Type in 30 B and just click save. And that's it. So I can continue to add to that playlist, obviously, as I go through the website and find more tracks I want to add. Now, as I noted earlier, you can like any playlist on the on the platform, and that will be automatically added to the Dex3 uh, browser. So right here, you see the little like button. It's got a little heart icon on it. All you got to do is bang that button with your mouse. It's going to say liked, and that's it. So now I'm going to bounce back to Dex3. Now, if the software wasn't running and you just fire it up, it's going to automatically populate with those playlists. But because I have it already running, all I've got to do is right click. You see your little SoundCloud icon here. Right click on here and choose refresh playlists. It's going to say updating right next to playlists here below the SoundCloud tab, this, this area. And when it's done, I see that two more playlists were added. The count was 12 last time. So here's my freshly created playlist that I created with the one track I added to it. And the playlist that I liked was Lit Hip Hop, right here. Click that, and boom. There's every track that was in that playlist, now in Dex3, ready to play, to stream, and mix. That's really all there is to it. Uh, I really like the like feature. You can follow other DJs if you're, if, you need, if you're outside of your comfort zone and you're doing a party or a gig and you're not really sure of the genre of music. Uh, that's a great little utility to utilize for those special occasions. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.